Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a fast castle build order as the English Civilization in AoE 4. This build order is strong in team games and in other situations in which you can protect yourself. And the English are good for this because they're both defensive and they get a town center for free as their uh, landmark for the castle age, which will enable you to get a strong economy going into the late game. So you'll start this build order just like most build orders. You're going to put your first six villagers on sheep, and your first two will be going to wood. You want your scout to be looking around for extra sheep, and we're also going to be looking for deer. If you can't find deer, berries can work. You're going to need about two villagers more in that case, though, so deer is best. Your second villager will go to wood, but first he's going to build a house. So we found our deer here, and this isn't too bad. It's not too far forward, so not as dangerous as it could be. Your next villager will be going to gold. Yeah, we'll do. And then the one after that on gold as well. So two on wood, two on gold. After your second villager on gold, this is when you're going to want to mill the deer. So now you want to get to four on gold while this guy is focusing on getting a mill up. And the reason we do that is so that you can get hunting techniques or survival techniques. So once you're at four on gold, you want to send your next four villagers to deer. And at this time, after you've gathered your sheep, we've got about six more here, you want to send your scout over here to start pushing deer. Oh, and don't forget survival techniques as well. It's the only eco upgrade we're going to be getting before the castle age in this build order. So just while we're waiting to get to five on deer here, I'm just going to talk a little bit about why you would want to use a fast castle. So if you're, say, the pocket player in a team game, it's a good time to go fast castle if you can have a flank that can protect you. It's a little bit greedy and you won't have so many resources to put into units. So you may not be able to defend yourself as well. So the reason I picked the English for this is because they're a strong defensive civilization. If you get stuck on the back foot, you can uh, build outposts and then your units will have a faster attack speed under them. That's called network of castles. And then also, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna use a word villager here to build a house. The other reason the English are good for a fast castle is because right away at the castle age, they can build a town center. So here we are at five villagers on deer. We're gonna put the next two onto the council hall. So the council hall is another good reason for why uh, the English are a strong fast castle sieve. If you are stuck, you can very quickly build a longbowman army. Obviously, it'll depend on what your enemy is doing, so it's a good idea at this point to go and scout them. If they're planning an early rush, you may need to just switch into longbowmen or, you know, uh, outposts if that's what you want. 
after these two, you want to send three to food. So two will build Council Hall, and then ideally by the time Council Hall is done, you have enough to go up again. So we're going to get to nine here on sheep. I want to scout our enemy. So I don't expect the enemy to be doing a whole lot. It's an intermediate AI. But we're still going to scout them nonetheless and just check on if they're going to be building something like men at arms. sure why they deleted their mill there okay so we're at nine on food let's go to gold so four more on gold here see any forward military yes, buildings at this time, but we're just going to keep checking in here. If you do need to build outposts, it might be a good idea at this time to, if you scout your enemy, for example, and think they're going to rush you, to put a few more on wood. So these two villagers, as soon as you go up, I tend to just put them on food quickly. You will very soon find that you're going to be able to go up again. So we're at 1,100 food, 570 if we do a force drop here. And now you want to pick your place for your town center. This isn't bad here with the berries. If we do a force drop. Now we can go up. So I tend to build a town center if I'm safe. And if you're thinking you're going to be rushed, you may be able to go keep. That's why another reason why this is a good civilization for this build order. If you're stuck and you're on the back foot, you can just build the keep and it'll protect your uh, defenses. And then you can still have the eco bonuses or the uh, military tech bonuses that you get from Castle Age. So this time is where you want to balance your eco potentially for uh, a fight. And in this case, let's say I want to build some men-at-arms. Because British, the English have a strong men at arm technology in the Castle Age. So here you are in the castle age. From this point, it'll depend on what your enemy's doing. You're definitely going to want to have some kind of military, um, and you'll probably be on the defensive, so you'll want to see what they're doing and react to it if you can. Uh, the important thing is to just survive until you can get that strong eco from the two town centers. Uh, if you get that advantage, it'll really help you in the late game. So that's going to be it for this English Fast Castle build order. Uh, just let me know how it works for you guys. I find it's great on closed maps or when my enemy is playing passively and I can um, take advantage of that. It's also great when you're a pocket player and um, you have someone on the flank who can protect you a little bit. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in more civilizations, more build orders, just let me know what you guys are struggling with or what you want to uh, see in the future. Until then, thanks for watching.